Hello everyone, this video will demonstrate how to download and install Jenkins plugin for HCL Accelerate and how to integrate Jenkins with HCL Accelerate. So for downloading and installing the Jenkins plugin for HCL Accelerate, you have to go to the Jenkins plugin website and then you can search for Jenkins for HCL Accelerate and you will find this plugin. You can download the artifact from here and after it will download an HPA file for you. So once you download it, you have to go to your Jenkins, manage Jenkins, then manage plugins, advanced section. So here you have to upload that HPI file that you have downloaded from HCL plugins website. So you can download this file and deploy it and then restart your Jenkins instance. So once you have restarted, when you will go to manage Jenkins, configure system. You will find you have to search for HCL accelerate and you will find something like this here so you can let me just delete it for now you will see something like this and you can add an HCL accelerate instance you can add multiple instance here so for now we will be just integrating one instance as you can see I won't save this I'll just reload it I have already added an instance if you'll see here I have added an instance so it takes an integration ID integration token the accelerate base URL user access key and then these two value RabbitMQ host and RabbitMQ port so these are all values which are required so integration ID integration token you can generate these from your HCL accelerate instance you can go to settings integrations plugins so here you'll find Jenkins plugin you can click on add integration you can give it a name and it will generate an integration ID and integration token for you. So I already have generated one for me. As you can see edit. So here this integration ID and integration token I am using in the Jenkins server. So here I have given these HCL accelerate base URL. Instead of localhost I have given my IP address. But if you are running it on a server then you don't have to do this. So after that you have to give the user access key, user access key you can generate from here. You can create a user access key and then use that user access key here. And then RabbitMQ port and RabbitMQ host you have to give your HCL accelerate RabbitMQ port and host. So if you go to terminal, I'll do a docker ps. So this will tell me where my RabbitMQ is running. So as you can see this is my RabbitMQ port and this is my RabbitMQ host which is localhost so by default if you won't give any value here then it will take 5672 otherwise you have to give some value here and for the host it will take the accelerate base URL if you won't provide any value after doing all of this you have to click apply and then you can click on test connection so it will show you that successful connection to accelerate services connected to RabbitMQ and then you can save it once you have saved it here if you go to your HCL accelerate value stream you create a new value stream I have just created one uh, pipeline you can add an application here I will name my application uh, Jenkins app 1 so I will just save it here you will see all of your Jenkins job that are available so all of these jobs are available here and this is the instance name Jenkins accelerate instance so if you'll see Jenkins uh, if I go to integrations here this name is same as this name with which I have created the instance so I'll go to value stream back Jenkins pipeline I can give an input so this input job should be build job so I'll just select the job to here and I'll select a simple job that I've created job 3 here so currently it shows that it's not yet run and then uh, first I have to run this job so I'll just go to my Jenkins instance I'll just run this job it's a simple job so I'll just run this job yeah so this job is successful 
now if i go to here here it shows that what's the version of the input job it automatically reflects it here so now i can just once i have a build job then i can run a deployment job which is job 3 for me so if i go to hcl accelerate if i want to deploy then i can select the version which is available to me currently this is the only version which is available otherwise i'll have more versions so i can just click on deploy so what it will do is it will trigger a deployment plan here and it will trigger this particular job job 3 10 i can directly go for using this As you can see this has triggered a job inside job 3 so here a new job has been triggered so that's how the Jenkins plugin for HCL accelerate works and if you go to insights delivery performance you can add a dashboard here and if you'll see let me just select for today so these are all the builds that has happened for me like I've triggered these builds as you can see Jenkins app one I have triggered this one build was triggered so I have this information here and if I go to the deployment count then you'll see that this is this has not yet seen but it will take some time and let's wait for this let's wait for this job to finish and then it will show the deployment data too yes yeah, so this job is successful it shows that this started due to request from HCL Accelerate with work ID as this. So if I see it here now. Yeah. Not this one. I have to add another chart which is the deployment counts chart. Yeah. So if I see here it shows me that this is one deployment that I have done from the build to the dev environment I have run this process name this was the build version that I have used this was the environment and all of these things are available here so that's how you integrate the, do the basic integration of Jenkins plugin with HCL Accelerate thank you